Today we're looking at some of the best cases available for the Tab M10 Plus third generation by Lenovo. I'll leave links in the description of the video with current pricing and more information. Let's go ahead and get started. This one's a hybrid slim case by Fenty. Sort of transparent there on the back. Comes in three different colors. Z lilac marble, lilac purple, and the one shown here is black. Really nice soft touch material here on the inside. You can see it's got two magnets to keep the cover closed and it has the auto sleep and wake function. On the back is a real grippy, almost like a thin plexiglass material. And yeah, it does look like you're gonna get some fingerprints on there. Not too bad though. Pretty nice cut out there on the back for the camera. The power and volume buttons are covered by the TPU material there around the edges. Not super clicky or anything, but they seem to get the job done. Then you've got two different angles there for the stamp position. One standing up, the other laying down in more of a typing position. You've got a nice oversized cutout there in the bottom for the charging port and headphone jack. Nice cutouts for the speakers on top and bottom. And overall, just really nice quality here by Fenty. With the case on, this one weighs in at 656 grams. Next one up is by Z2 Top. This one's also a folio style cover. It has a denim material there on the front with a leatherette accent there on the side. It also has a pocket here on the front. It's got a little magnetic clasp that kind of holds everything together. You've got a hard plastic shell that the tablet snaps into. Really easy to put this case on here too. You've also got a spot here for a stylus or precision pin too, right along the side. You've also got an elastic strap here that also helps to keep everything together. You've got an extra large cutout on the top and bottom for all of your ports and the speakers, and then a cutout on the side for the volume buttons. Perfect cutout on the back for the camera as well. I also think this one has a really nice grip to it. You've also got a little strap here on the inside cover if you wanna use this one handed. And then you have a couple different angles here for the stand position. With the case on, it weighs in at 772 grams. Overall, just a really nice affordable case by Z2 Top. Now this one is a silicone, super soft, with an adjustable stand there on the back by a company called Hmanson. Actually comes in several different colors. Sky blue, rose, red, rainbow, purple, green, black, and the one shown here is blue. I gotta say, I kinda like the look of this one. You've got a nice cutout here for the front facing camera. Pretty nice lip around the edges as well. You got really nice bumpers here on the corners. Could be just a little bit tighter, I think. Oversized cutout there on the bottom for the charging port and the headphone jack. Nice cutouts for the speakers on top and bottom. Perfect cutout on the back for the camera. Even though this one's more of a rugged style case, it still feels pretty lightweight on here. You can also see the power and volume buttons are covered by the silicone material. I feel like they could have made the button stick out just a little bit more. Super easy to use though. Pretty nice quality for what you're paying. Also looks like you've got a spot for a lanyard here on the side. It's a little tricky to get the kickstand up there. It's got little tabs here on the back, so you can put this at different angles. actually seems to work pretty good. And then if you flip it over, it lays down in the typing position. Looks like this one weighs in at 634 grams with the case on, so really not that heavy. Next one up is by Enet Case. It's a multi-angle folio style case that actually rotates so you can use this in a vertical position. Comes in two different colors, blue or black. It appears to have some kind of magnets here that kind of lock it into place. Really nice and grippy, soft touch material on the inside. Pretty nice grip on the outside too. Kind of feels like a synthetic leatherette material. Really simple to snap into place. Has a flexible TPU material with hard plastic corners that the tablet snaps into. You've also got magnets here right on the edge. You've also got the auto sleep and wake function with this one. 
nice tapered cutout around the camera on the back. You'll also notice you have a spot for a stylus on the back as well. Pretty much exposed on the top and bottom for the speakers and ports. Same thing with your volume buttons and the power button. Because this one is super grippy on the inside, you can pretty much put it at any angle. And then a couple spots there when it's in the vertical position. And seems like it's pretty sturdy there as well. Front cover seems to stay on there pretty good as well. And then with the case on, weighs in at 760 grams. So yeah, it's going to add a little bit of weight, but it's got really nice grip. And the build quality seems pretty nice on here as well. Now, if you're looking for something super rugged, really heavy duty, I don't think you're gonna find one much more rugged than this one by Samac. Super thick silicone around the edges, hard plastic shell there on the back. They also give you two different options, one with a built-in screen protector and one without. They also throw in a lanyard and a tool to remove the case once you put it on. Pretty easy to put on here once you snap it into place. This has some of the best volume and power buttons. Really nice and chunky, super easy to use. Not sure if you can hear, but super clicky as well. Really nice and thick screen protection on here. Just moving around with the screen protector in, you can sort of feel that it's there because it's a little more grippy than just the glass. Actually works pretty good though. You also have flaps here for the headphone jack and charging port. Looks like you could take this off, attach it to the lanyard. You've also got a Velcro strap. You can put your hand in, rotates pretty easily as well. This one also has a built-in kickstand, which you can stand up or lay down in the typing position. Nice cutout for the front-facing camera. Nice cutout on the back for the camera. You can sort of see how thick this case is. And yeah, this one's pretty heavy. Weighs in at 854 grams with the case on. Like I said, I don't think you're gonna find a case that's more rugged than this one for this tablet. This slim smart cover by Procase is a really nice option. It's got a hard plastic shell there on the back. Comes in two different colors, black and the one shown here is navy. Sort of transparent there on the back. Super easy to put into this case. Also has the auto sleep and wake function. Pretty nice soft material here on the inside cover. Magnets over here on the edge. Pretty smooth feel here on the front. A little bit more of a matte texture on the back. Sort of interesting for the cutout there on the back, but I guess that works. Power and volume buttons are exposed on this one. So those are gonna be really easy to get to. Nice cutouts for the speakers and oversized cutout for the charging port and headphone jack. Definitely one of the more thinner and lightweight cases for this tablet. And then you can see here, you've got two different angles for the stand position. Weighs in at 634 grams with the case on. This folio case by Fenty comes in three different colors, black, rose gold, and the one shown here is gray. It's got that denim, almost rubberized material on the outside. Softer, almost felt like material on the inside. Hard plastic shell on the back. This one, this one's pretty easy to just snap into place. It also has the auto sleep and wake function. Everything's exposed there on the top and bottom, so easy to get to the ports and nothing's gonna be blocking the speakers. Power and volume buttons are exposed as well, so those are gonna be easy to get to. Pretty much perfect cut out there on the back for the camera. This one also has black accents for the plastic around the edges. Weighs in at 684 grams with the case on. Then you've got two different angles here as far as the stand position. Pretty much straight up and down or laying down. And as usual, pretty nice quality here by Fenty. Now this one is a leather wrap folio style case by Topolio Roo. Sort of a weird name. Comes in four different colors, red, pink, black, and the one shown here is brown. 
got a nice pattern here on the front and back and it sort of gives it extra grip. You've got some extra storage here on the inside along with an elastic strap that kind of keeps everything together. It's got a flexible TPU material that the tablet snaps into. Also has a spot here for a stylus or if you have the precision pin too. You've got cutouts on the side and top for your volume buttons and power. And then pretty nice cutouts on the top and bottom for speakers and oversized cutout for the charging port. And then a couple spots for the stand position. Only downside to this case doesn't appear to have auto sleep and wake function. It looks like the camera cutout. I don't think that's going to be an issue. And with the case on weighs in at about 680 grams. Now, if you need a kid's case or you're just an adult who likes handles on your tablets, BMWOW, B-M-O-U-O, -O. no idea how to pronounce that one. Comes in several colors, turquoise, rose, red, purple, green, and black. This one's just a really thick, almost foam-like material. You sort of just have to force this one into the case. Nice cutout there for the front facing camera. And even though this is really thick, it's still fairly lightweight. Pretty nice lip protection there around the screen. You've also got cutouts there for the volume buttons, power, camera there on the back. And you can see just how thick this case is. Oversized cutout there for the charging port and the headphone jack. You got a few different angles here. You can even use this to stand up in the vertical position. Overall, just a really nice rugged kids case. Weighs in at 708 grams with the case on. Definitely don't have to worry about this one falling out either when you're carrying it by the handle. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.